beautiful saturday and we are back on the book review show today well are you struggling with eating um do you like eating late at night do you always like the fries the fried rice and the cokes the fantas and all that well today um i'm sorry i may have to bust your bubble we are looking at changing how we look by changing what we eat and i have fitness experts with me here he goes by the name akoto de gross i don't know if i'm right with the name akoto de gross is with me here in the studio and we're going to look into his latest book we're going to look at how to look and feel healthy i may i may look very nice and all that but maybe i'm not healthy who knows so this a um healthy counseling session with him <laughs> so good morning uh mr Good morning, Caroline. How are you doing? I'm very, very well. It's a wow. pleasure to be here. Thank you so much it's for a, inviting me. It's, it's a wonderful uh, pleasure that you have honored our invitation. <laughs> okay, so now uh, I, I realize in your book yes. you were not, I mean, like this. Yes. What, what we can see. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about your your healthy yeah, journey? journey yeah. You know, it's 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 been a long time coming. You know, I I grew up, you know, in a family of mm. of six. Okay. You know, and my mom was a baker, and so we all, you know, ended up being, you know, mm. big. You know, because of the food that we also is available. Yeah. And so at my biggest, I was weighing around one thirty kilograms, so I was almost twice the size. Wow, one thirty. Yes, yes, and you know, through that whole period I had tried several times to shed off the weight but anyone will tell you that losing weight is a very very peculiar task it's not easy you know it's about changing your lifestyle so I gave up on it and then I uh, my mom passed away about four or five years ago yeah she she had uh, she was also big so she had uh, uh, type 2 diabetes you know stroke high blood pressure and all these non communicable diseases so her death was actually one of the wake-up calls for me to really really do something about my my health because you know she uh, she was a firm believer of the word of god she yeah. always said she was going to see her great great grandchildren and i kind of believed it yeah. but it didn't happen and so it told me it, it taught me that you know of course the promises of god are there for everyone but if we don't also play our part we may not receive it or we may not you know actually achieve it so i changed my lifestyle and you know it's been about four years now and i'm still on that journey you know of, of 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 healthy living so i changed my diet completely i started getting more active and uh by god's grace you know i'm also helping other people to go through the same process because of how i know yeah. how tough it is yeah tell us about fat to fit yeah so fat to fit is uh, an organization that i started to really help people who are struggling with their weight so if you are watching and you are dealing with weight issues you know you are struggling with your weight i can guarantee you that if you come to us we would help you have a lot of you know high success rate yeah, all those who follow our, our, our program BFM, exactly yeah. yes follow our program see results i always say that if i don't see results with you then it's either i'm wrong or you are wrong but mostly you are wrong because you are not doing <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing what i'm telling you to do yeah. you know so uh we've been we've been doing it i've been doing fat to fit for like two and a half years now and I'm so proud of what it is that we have accomplished. We picked up an award recently, the Hele Africa Awards, yeah, for a fat to fit program that is helping a lot of people shed off weight. You know, yeah. So yeah, get in touch if you want to lose some weight. Yes. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. In case you just tuned in, the book we show right here on Precious TV. We meet Caroline Ouzo as someone, and I have a quote de Gros here in the studio. We're looking at how to look and be healthy those they are different things right? exactly to look exactly feel exactly. and be healthy yeah they are really, mm, mm. It, it can it can yes usually if you don't look good if you don't like the way you are looking you don't feel good mm. and mostly it it also boils down to your health mm. you know like they are really really interrelated, interrelated yeah. yeah so mostly because our emotions you know mind body spirit there mm. has to be a, a synchrony there has to be a harmony yeah. Yeah. if there is a break in one you don't function properly as a human being you know yeah. even because you know when you're talking about health we are, we are not looking at just uh, wow. your physical health yeah. whether you don't have malaria <laughs> emotional health yeah. is very very important feeling confident you know 
uh, I've been reading lately that a lot of people struggle with low self-esteem, which I also suffered with, you know, because of, of my plus size. Uh, I was big. And when you have low self-esteem, it is difficult to really ad- achieve something significant with your life. Because you are like the Israelites, the one Joshua, Joshua sent. Yeah, the ten, the ten yeah, yeah, spies. You know, they said that when their eyes like grasshoppers, you know. So they were looking down on themselves. But look at what Joshua and, and, and Caleb said, yeah. you know, we can do it. And so if you look down on yourself, you cannot do much. And it, 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 so that's emotional. I mean, they are not well emotionally. Yeah. So let us not also look at just physical health, you know. Health must be complete, you know, in all aspects, yes. Wow, wow. Change what you eat, change how you look. Okay, and we're going to look at seven new steps to a new look. Mm. Okay, they can even be old steps. <laughs> you, you couldn't take um, track of that. Yeah. But now let's look at what it means to be healthy. Yes. What does it mean to be healthy? It's a very, very good question. You know, when you are looking at uh, a healthy living, I always say that, you know, our body is God's temple. The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us. I mean, if you were not so well, if you were like sick or something, you couldn't be here. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we need our body to be well all the time. And so there are a number of things that we have to do to make sure that all the time we are we are healthy, you know. And, the, you know, we'll talk about some of them, but the fundamental, the basic is, that is your diet. You know, they say you are what you eat. If you can eat healthy, if you can eat well, you are you stand a chance of fighting off a lot of diseases. Because you know, food is medicine. Yeah. You know, if you can learn to eat the right things, know the nutrients in the foods you are eating, you can give the body what it needs, yeah. and you will not even take medicine. I always say that for the past four years now, I, I don't remember taking any medications. You know, but I remember in the past how I would often fall sick and you know always tired. I have to take this. I have to take that. It's all gone, and I can attribute it to to, to, to the diet. So when you're talking about healthy eating, it me- simply means making conscious decisions that improve your overall health. Okay. You know, and this is not something that is going to happen on its own. That's something mm. that you also have to be aware of. Mm, yeah. You have to purposely choose. Like how Daniel purpose in his heart. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, these are things that will not happen on their own. And especially where you've been brought up in a culture or in an environment where you are not, you were not brought up to a healthy way of living, you would have to, you know, now go off and now be on a new track, which also is not easy sometimes, you know. I mean, for example, apart from the, the diet, which maybe we would go into details later, another healthy habit is, is exercise. You know, when you travel abroad, you see parents with their kids going for walks yeah. and, me, yeah, I never had that. <laughs> Your father is busy, you know, going for yeah, to work. even while you're going to work. <laughs> exactly. But walking and all of that, they are healthy habit that if we had picked up as a child, grew up with it you know swimming and all these things we didn't do all that uh-huh. so going off uh, of off some of these habits and picking up the healthy ones is very very essential so basically looking at your diet you know looking at you know getting physically active yeah. uh sleeping you know adequately uh drinking more water you know trying to avoid stress uh you know these uh, these things are, are, i'm sure would put you on a path you know to a healthy lifestyle yeah a healthy living, healthy living, healthy living. Change what you eat, change how you look. With Dr. Tudor Gross, there's a book we wish you right here on Precious TV with me, Caroline Owusu Asamo. We're going to help you have a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. So now, still on healthy living. Yes. Um, you know, people think healthy living is all about uh, you know being in the right shape. Exactly. And everything. Yeah. Can you? I want to find out. Can you? Healthy. Mm. Does it mean everything must be in place, or is that is that a time when something can yeah. be you know out of touch? Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, you know, especially in this social media age that we live in, you know, look is very very important. Everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants to show off, you know, the best of themselves. You know, uh, I always say that they are know, know your numbers. There are some numbers that you'd have to always check. You know, maybe every six months yeah, or at yes. least yes. So what are these numbers? First one is your BMI, okay. your what we call the body mass index. When you check your BMI and it's above 24.9, mm, then you are, it means that you are storing too much fats, which doesn't mean that you are not healthy. What okay. it simply means is that 
you increase your likelihood of getting non-communicable diseases such as type 2 diabetes, you know, heart attack, uh, stroke, high blood pressure. Because when you have wow. too much fat deposit in your system, you know, it can cause a lot of havoc. So what you want, you don't want to do is to be above 24.9. So please check your BMI right now. You can go to a pharmacy. You can come to Fatifate to check it for you. What do you use you. to check? You should have got so that I check. Should, right? yeah, really, yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. So basically, we check your, your weight and your height. Mm. And then we do some calculations and then we check and then we see based on your height and your weight we can know whether your 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 your, your weight is okay so that's one of the numbers that would give you a fair idea you know of course you may also have a good bmi but you can have things like high mm. cholesterol so those ones you have to check yes your cholesterol you also have to always check your 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 your, your visceral fats you know which is linked to cholesterol to your visceral fat so that is the fats that are stored internally around your liver your kidney if it's be above six, it's also it's very bad. dangerous. Yes, uh -huh. you know, yesterday I checked with a client and it was around I think twenty or so. Yeah, yes. it's a it's it very yeah, it's <laughs> very 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 high. You know, for for visceral fat, it really stems from a, a healthy uh, an unhealthy diet. Unhealthy exactly. Diet. Yes, uh, things like your your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, so once you 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 do these numbers and they are okay, I think that fairly well you 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 are okay. You know. For perfect, 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 it may be difficult. Uh -huh. The only Christ is perfect. Yeah, because, okay, maybe something might be too, something might, might be too, three, exactly. But, but they are, the, exactly. they work together. Together, to exactly. Yes, 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 yes. So at least once you have an idea of these numbers and they are okay, yeah, yeah you should you should be good to go. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. It's the book review show right here on Precious TV with me, Carolina Uzo. When I have a cotto de grass here, we are looking at change what you eat, change how you um, now let's delve into the book. All right. Okay. So the book has eight chapters. Mm -hmm. um, step one. Uh, now we identify unhealthy foods. Yes. We identify uh, portion sizes, mm -hmm. unhealthy eating habits, mm -hmm. preparing our minds for change, yeah. choosing healthy foods, yeah. uh, control your portions, develop mm -hmm. new healthy eating habits. Your final work. Exactly. Yeah. So now let's look at the unhealthy foods. Food, yeah. Okay. That. <laughs> yeah, we, I, I, I'm interested in exactly. that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That, I, that is always around us. You know, I always say that, um, first of all, you cannot confront what you don't identify. Mm. That's why I begin by identification. Mm. Because we are all different. So first, identify unhealthy foods. Mm. And, you know, there are there's a technical, I mean, there are many definitions of unhealthy food, but I want to give a basic one. Okay. One of the gifts that I have found that I have is that I'm able to break down complex things. To become very simple, oh, that's nice. yeah. So if you read my book, you realize that it's a it's simple, simple. It's exactly. Very simple. Everybody yeah. can read it. I don't want you to read it and be going to the dictionary <laughs> and be looking for meanings. Yes. So, a food is generally generally unhealthy if it's far away from its natural state. The more further away, the more unhealthy it okay. is. So you what know? you say is further away. Uh... So what it means is that foods that have been processed. Oh, okay. That have been processed they are not in its natural form you take things like lettuce kelly leaves celery carrots cucumber tomatoes pepper uh, uh, oranges uh, pineapple you know fruits and vegetables essentially tubers they are all in their natural state so but if i cook it then that means but i can't eat it raw, can't eat it raw <laughs> yes in fact there are some people who you know they eat raw food you know because they really want to maintain all of their, oh, their, but, their but that's why how you cook your meals is very important. Uh -huh. So, for example, some meals I recommend that you leave the covers around them because a lot of the nutrients are around, like potatoes, like this. That's why sometimes you see the covers yeah. uh, around them because they are they have a lot of fiber, a lot of nutrients there. So some foods you just leave the cover, you wash well, and and you leave uh, carrot, for example. Okay. Don't buy carrot that they have used the. The daddy, the, the, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the daddy, the, 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 the metal, metal sponge, sponge to, to scrap. They are scrapping away a lot of essential nutrients. Really? Yes. Buy the raw one. Just put them in water. All the sand would go off. So, but it, it looks, it looks quite unattractive. It's, yeah, the, with, the, with the sand. It looks and, like it's um, wrinkled. Yes. That, so me, when I, I peel it, exactly. I, I peel oh no, the, the, so you don't peel. Just wash it. Just wash it well. Wash but it well. It doesn't well. look attractive. Oh, but it's still healthy. What's that? <laughs> Even ginger. Yeah. I yeah. encourage that you, you, you keep the, 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 the skin. What? Yeah, it has a lot, really? of, a lot of nutrients. Yes. Wow. Just wash it well. Soak them in, 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 in water, water, you know, and then wash and wash and wash. All the sand will, will come, will come so out. So I don't have to necessarily 
Feel exactly yes. I ask for I feel, feel and make L, sure that L, everything L, is exactly. gone. <laughs> yeah. So typically, you know, foods that are natural are more healthier than foods that have been processed. So that is to not. Uh, if we am um, to give examples, we will not leave the show today. So that is just the basic uh, uh, formula or understanding. I want to give you the mm-hmm. viewer. So that when you are choosing your food from today, ask yourself, uh, has it been processed? Mm -hmm. And then also, what has gone into the processing Mm -hmm. of the food? What ingredients have been put inside the food that is about to go into your body? And I think that sometimes a lot of us don't respect our bodies. We don't know that our bodies are sacred. It's a temple. Honestly, I don't sound too spiritual, but if you look at the meaning of a temple, it's a very serious word. Temple, it has to be sacred. In fact, some of us even value uh, the church building. Yeah, even our homes. Yes. You know, we, we value, sometimes we even value the, our cars the house and the cars more than yes. our, 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 our human bodies. bodies. Sometimes even our children, some fathers, if you touch his car, mm. you know what he'll do to you. But if you touch his car, he'll do anything. anything. So yeah. he's really attached. And right now, there are many, many variants of fuel, for example. Mm-hmm. They'll buy yeah, the high quality, the high quality for the car. To make sure that but it's when it comes to us, anything, can... just anything is coming in, coming in, coming in. And that is so wrong, mm-hmm. you know. And so I'm hoping that through this show, you, you get enlightened. Mm-hmm. So please identify those foods that are processed, that you mm-hmm. eat, you know. So th- And check out for things with things like monosodium glutamate, you know, MSGs. What, what, what's that? <laughs> oh, it's, it's an ingredient that is really put in What food. does it do? It's essentially to make it stay longer, okay. you know, and has a lot of uh, salt to as well, you know. Uh, things with trans fats. And sometimes they will say zero trans fats, but you know, uh, in the in the US, the authorities allow for you to say zero trans fats when your trans fat is below a certain level. Wow! So although it's but zero it's trans fats, so why do they write yes, zero? exactly. You know, because without the trans fats, the foods will not hold together well. Uh-huh. So watch out for things like that, artificial colorings and all of that. Processed, Processed foods in general, mm. things that are packaged. Let us be aware of it. So what do I eat? The natural foods that I mentioned, we'll go into that. <laughs> yeah. There are many options. There are, in fact, there are many, many, there are even more than enough options. Except that we are, we, th- we are limited, you know. We, we think that having all the... And sometimes, too, we think that it's, it's, it, it makes us feel good, you know, when we eat yeah, the... It tastes so, so good, good you know. that the triple chocolate... Chocolate, exactly, and all of that. <laughs> it's dead, dead poison, my friend. Ooh. Take it out. You are destroying your temple, you know. And like I was telling you earlier, some of these habits... They don't give you the side effects now. Mm. They pile up, they pile up, they pile up. And before one day, you realize you break yeah, down. You break down. And so the fact that you are not having any uh, negative consequences now doesn't no. mean that it's okay for you. So please, let us also note that as well. Uh-huh. So that's the first step in the book where I talk about yeah. identifying unhealthy. So l- uh, let's go through the unhealthy foods. Um, something that, if, if mm-hmm. I remember the definition, mm-hmm. uh, yes. foods that are far from their, their natural, natural state. state. Yes, 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 okay. yes. So how about meat and fish? Okay. Because uh, mm. with that one, you have to cook it. Exactly. So, have have to, to, yeah. so th- I mean, those ones are okay. Mm-hmm. And lately, what I've also been advising people on is to eat by their blood type. So depending on your blood type, I would say maybe it's meat or some eat. Some people don't even know no, their blood type. type. Yes. They eat anything, <laughs> anything goes, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. some food don't work well with some blood types. Uh huh. So uh, even when it comes to proteins as well, you know, and even the fish, it's not all the fishes, the seafoods that are healthy. You know, it's not all the ones. I, I, like, I like seafood though. But not all of them, like shrimps, for example, octopus. They are very high in fats. You know, even tilapia. That Ghanaians these days. Do you say shrimp? And yes. Octopus. Very high. high. Where's the fat? Because they don't look fat. Really? Yeah. It's inside. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are very fattening. They are very fattening, yes. You know, yes. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always say that don't eat for taste, eat for nutrition. Yeah, you know, although yeah. it tastes good, you know. I thought it was highly nutritious. Uh, maybe, you know, in moderation, mm-hmm. you know. Of course, at the end of the day, it's all about balance, yeah. you know, and, 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 and avoiding things that are a bit. So, for example, you can eat it by maybe smaller portions, mm-hmm. which is the next step yeah. of the yeah. book, yeah. 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 Identify your portions. Yeah. yeah. So now let's go to the identity. The portions, portions, yes. Uh, what does it mean to okay. what what's a portion size and what, what does it mean to identify? What, one of the numbers that you also have to check is your basal metabolic rate, okay. which calculates the kilocalories you have to have every day. 
you know, we are all different. We have different body types. We have ectomorphs, mesomorphs, endomorphs. And we are also engaged in different levels of activities during the day. We are also made up of, you know, different sexes, whether you're male or female. All these factors contribute to the amount of food that we should eat. But unfortunately for a majority of us, or yes, majority of us, we eat more than our body needs. That is a simple fact. We eat more than, than our food. body needs, yes. The portion size. So a lot of the Ghanaian local foods, I would say, are healthy. A lot of our foods. Yes, yes. Are of you course, listening? Are most you of them watching? our foods are healthy. healthy. Most. most of them, I would say, are carbohydrate based. Yeah. So like cuckoo yam, yam, plantain, cassava, rice, bamboo. No corn. We are all uh, uh, carbohydrate based. Mm-hmm. The problem is that because of the changing nature of our lifestyle now, what we are, if we eat more of that, the body is not able to burn it off. Somebody will say, well, why is that? Why are you telling me not to eat this or to eat? Uh, my ancestors ate it. My, yeah. So why? And they lived it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kind of work they were doing with the food they had eaten, you are not doing it. You know, they would eat and walk and farm and walk long distances. Mm. What walking are you doing? Is that walking from your room to your car <laughs> that you sit in your car and then you come to use the lift? You don't even want to use the staircase, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So the food automatically will sit with you. It won't, it won't get burned. So then you have to watch your portion size. In fact, I would say most people, when I'm interviewing clients, I look at their old pictures and most of them were skinny in, in, in back in the day. And now because they have now entered into the corporate work, they have put on weight. So I always say that Companies should put should do a course for their for their staff, especially new ones, because especially for those who are sitting like the bankers, the, the sedentary, yes, those who are sitting more, they, they 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 there has to be a course for them to know their portion so that they eat well and they don't put on too much weight. Uh-huh. So when you are talking about portions, you are really looking at the looking checking your BMR, your basal metabolic rate to know that your level of calories that you need in a day, and then. You, you plan your portions, so you you, you you divide your meals throughout the day to fit the total okay. calories that you have to but, eat. But um, now going back to our ancestors mm, eating mm, foods, mm. all that, how, how do you, you said we, we have a lot of carbohydrates. Yes. So the, how do you, um, even in your portion, portion size, yeah. Yes. How, how, uh, yeah. Generally, I, I always say that let your half plate be the leafy greens. How about soup? Soup, yeah. So if it's soup, then a lot of soup, and then a small pot. The carbohydrates should always be at the least, the, the smaller part. Yeah, but but small when you are eating, you know, when you eat, yeah. are you supposed to eat and be full? Or? Oh, you have to be full. So you have to be full. But if you food. eat more of the leafy grains and all of that, they have a lot of fiber, so they will get you full. Really? Yes, they will get you full. You know, and it's because sometimes the the, the we eat very fast. Okay. So that by the time the brain catches that you are full. Then you have overeating. But if you eat very slowly and you take your time to really digest the food well, you realize that you do you you don't have to eat all this, you know, a lot of food to be full. Yeah. yeah. So, so is it natural mm. for you to be maybe slimmer mm-hmm. or a bit mm-hmm. skinny yeah. while you are young yeah. and then at a certain age you are supposed to be because mm-hmm. it happens often. Yeah. Usually when we're children, yeah. You know, we become bigger, yeah, yeah. let's say, when after 30, yeah. then, then 40, yeah. we begin to expand. It's yes. a natural phenomenon. It's a natural phenomenon. Or it's our health. It's, you can still be, you know, that skinny till... Oh, oh, yes, yes. I mean, as for taking care of yourself, like I said, it's conscious. You have to be conscious about mm-hmm. it. So you can still look good till even your 80s. Okay. But I think there was a woman I saw around the, on the program that she was like 85, that she was really looking you know, really good. So you can... Uh, still be like that if you make the conscious effort to take care of yourself. But if you don't, naturally, as you age, your metabolism slows down, mm-hmm. and so you tend to store more fats. That's why it's difficult to lose weight when you are when you are when you have aged like forties or fifties. Oh, that, that, uh-huh. That's when people find out. Exactly. Uh huh. So naturally, as you age, your body naturally uh, your metabolism so slows, slows, and then you tend to store because your metabolism is what is really burning off, like the fats mm-hmm. and all of that in your system. So as it's becoming slower, then you are storing more fat. Mm-hmm. So it's very, very natural. But then you, you you have the choice to do something about it so that you don't tend to, you know, uh, store more fats as you, as you so age. you have yes. to eat more greens. Exactly. I'm sure we'll talk about that when we go to the healthy diet, yes. So at this stage, really watching your portions, you know. 
And I also I say that generally women are supposed to have about 1,005 calories every day. Is that more than men? Yes, it's lower. We have to have more lower. Lower. And men is around 2,000. Why? Oh, you because see. Men are more energetic. Energetic, they exactly. They'll do more, yes. And also because of hormones. Men's have, men have a lot of testosterone mm-hmm. and women have estrogen more. So essentially, we can have a bit of more calories. That's why men can lose weight faster than women. Yes, because we tend to have more muscle and the women tend to have more more fats uh-huh. mm-hmm. so those are the numbers and so if you're going to have let's say 1005 calories for example in a day and you are going to consume things with oils you are going to have more than that in the day because one tablespoon of oil has about 150 calories one tablespoon wow. yes one tablespoon so you can imagine if you take 10 you know you cook. cook exactly and then you fried stuff and Go up consuming more. So I usually eliminate oils from, from my meal plans for clients. We do a lot of oil stuff. And you yeah. can bake in oil lens. I mean, um, yes, you can. When, when it comes to uh, maybe planting, exactly. It comes to Even fish, fish frying, exactly. You, you can, you can go for grilled, go for baked, grilled, go yeah. for boiled, go for steamed. Never fry. Never. never. When you fry the foods, you really, really destroy the ingredients. Yeah. When you fry the foods, and it's still, uh, that, that, that's when it tastes food. good. <laughs> All the things that taste good yeah, are unfortunately sometimes. not healthy. In fact, most of the things that taste good, yes. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we have to develop the habit of, you know, incorporating things that don't necessarily taste good, but then they are good for 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 us. You know, typically all the things that are good for us, they, it, it's not. For example, I mean, if I say wake up in the morning and go for a jogging, mm, no one it's difficult. <laughs> Before you wake up, cry. You snooze. You in the snooze button. Button. Yeah. You you know you sleep again. Yeah. So. Well, in case you just tune us, the book we should write here on Precious TV. Um, we're looking at healthy eating habits and changing how we look. So we're going for a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. We were looking um, at changing what we eat and changing how we look. You have to look good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more like more, 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 more than me. <laughs> and Alcote the Girls is helping us here with his latest book, Change What You Eat, Change How You Look. We're looking at seven steps to having that new look. All right. So now we are looking at hmm. identifying on healthy eating habits. I looked at some and I was like, before guilty, I feel guilty like fifty percent. So now, now what's unhealthy eating? And now let's look at some of the examples. Okay, so basically, when you say unhealthy eating, mm-hmm. it simply means that uh, you are not eating right. Okay. Basically, you know, either you are not having the right portions, mm-hmm. you are not having the right nutrients from the mm-hmm. foods, or you are not uh, eating what the body requires to grow yeah. to become healthy uh-huh. and there are so many habits that a lot of us have picked yeah, up put like about 20, 20 of them i'm yes. sure because you wanted the book to be small because i know they are oh they are they, they are, are many they are wow. many they are many yes so these so, are habits that i know people you know have, have picked up mm. you know and so i if, if, you have to identify like i said if you don't identify you cannot confirm because you don't identify. identify so we are all in the identification process of the mm. whole journey you know, the seven steps to a new look, you know, so now what are some of the unhealthy habits that you have to identify? We may not be able to cover everything, but so that's why you have to get the book. book, You know, one of the first ones I say is lack of a meal plan. Mm. Lack of a meal plan. Majority of people don't eat by planning. They don't know what they are going to eat. Like, you know, they, whatever comes their way, they eat, you know, and that is what a meal plan will do for you. It will guide you and help you to know what you eat and when. Because if you don't have any meal plan, then whatever comes, you are eating. So is it like having a timetable for food? So exactly. that means food timetables are actually good. Very, 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 very important. Very, very. But I remember, even in those days, I pointed to do it, but we felt yeah, it's, it's we'll not necessary. It on the, fridge. the fridge, yes, yeah. yes. Let's go back to it. Wow. It really, really, really helps, you know. Uh, lack of water. A lot of us are now replacing soda with water, which is just ludicrous. I mean, it's so wrong. Replacing soda with water. Yes. Or replacing water with soda. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> twist there. <laughs> we are replacing water with soda. With soda. Yeah, so we are drinking more soda. Okay. 
Because sometimes in the morning, instead of drinking water, people will drink like energy drinks. Really? And no, it's bad. It's though. really, really out of, you know. Wait, are, are energy drinks good? No. They are, they are, they are, they not, are not They good. are not They are not They good. are not healthy. But of course, if you are somebody who works out mm-hmm. a lot and you need some amount of energy, but, can, not, but it doesn't have to be frequent. No, 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 no. Like not like the way like people work, like Mr. Ghana. Exactly. Yes, Mr. Ghana yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Do they have to always take it? Oh, no. Because they are always working out. Oh, not all the time. What they can take all the time is protein shakes and all of that, which maybe mm-hmm. we can talk about later. But essentially, replace all soft drinks with water. I always say that soft drinks kill softly. Soft drinks, nice. yes. drinks kill, kill softly. softly. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> because as you are drinking them, you know, like again, like I said, these are things that you don't get the effect of it yeah, immediately no. now. Mm-hmm. But as you are taking a lot of soft drinks, soft drinks have no fiber. It's just sugar and water. The it just goes, yes, the body digests it straight away. It goes straight into, into the, the bloodstream. Stream. And then if you don't take that, it can shoot up. Then mm-hmm. your body will produce a lot of insulin mm-hmm. to make sure that it brings down the sugar level. And then at some point when your insulin cannot be produced, then diabetes steps in. You know, that's why nowadays kids yeah. are getting type oh, yeah. 2 diabetes. But before, no kid had diabetes, but now it's becoming rampant. So soft drinks, we should be totally out. Even the, the ones that have branded them as 100% natural, yeah, zero sugar, sugar yeah. forget it. Blend it yourself. You know, get them. we have a lot of food in our system. Just put them together and blend it naturally. Yeah, so uh, inadequate water is also an unhealthy habit. You know, uh, skipping meals. Mm. A lot of us, we don't eat, uh, like we skip our breakfast. Yeah. We skip, you know, sometimes we even think that skipping will make us lose weight. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's opposite. It, it, really? Very opposite. Because your metabolism needs some amount of energy to function well. Mm. If you're not bringing it in, your body, your body goes into storage mode. Mm. So the moment you start eating, well, the body is now storing. I, I, I read something. You said... Eat breakfast like a king. Exactly. Um, lunch like a prince. Exactly. And dinner like, like a, a pauper. pauper. Yes. yes. So that refers right. to the richness and then the portions, mm. you know. So as the day is going, I mean, as for breakfast, you're not starting your day. Oh. So make sure it's really filling. It's heavy. And then lunch, maybe a bit moderate. But for mm. dinners, so that's another unhealthy eating habit. Eating mm. heavy. The fufu. L- exactly. like the fufu. In exactly. The in the evening. Mm. And kinky. If I were a, a minister of, of uh, is it health or maybe, I'll ban the sale of kinky and indomie in the evenings. But it has well, become the, the in thing right now, yeah. like the evenings. Because typically, we don't need uh, that Those energy things. if we are going to sleep. Mm. We don't need kinky, we don't need uh, carbohydrates. Because oh, we are now, we are resting. Yeah, we are not going, going to start. Exactly, okay. we are not going to burn. So now, if you eat such foods, that's how come you develop pet belly, uh, pot bellies, belly. exactly, and all of that. So heavy late night eating should really be, you know, avoided. So that's one of the unhealthy habits. Another one is uh, not reading food labels. Hey. You know, when was the last time you checked the ingredients on the food you bought? The I'm sure time. you checked maybe the expiry date. Mm. Then that's it. That's for Because even sometimes the things on the, you don't even understand, understand them. them. So I always say that if you can't pronounce it, don't buy it. Don't buy. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't, if you don't know what it is, because this thing is coming to but go into are, your body. I read them on the things we every day in the mm, kitchen the yeah. tomato paste exactly the spices mm, and everything mm, so mm. that's what it means honestly things that are processed we really really have to mm. watch them closely some of them are okay you know but we really have to watch them so just read the food labels and make sure that you are watching out for them the, 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 not just the expiry date. The, the <laughs> yes 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 and then also another unhealthy um eating habits that we often find ourselves doing is picking up on foods you know mm. picking like you know uh, picking like you just pick pick foods pick. Yeah, exactly uh you know somebody is eating you pick some you know i remember those days when people were eating and they saw me because hey, they really i'll eat some <laughs> i'll eat some no for ah, i'll eat i have to eat some i'll shorten you wow. you know so that is also an unhealthy uh eating habit that we yeah that terrible. has to be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah you know be disciplined have self-control show mm. restraint mm. don't just you know because food can really disgrace you you know yeah, honestly Especially at parties, you know, you see people, you know, gallivanting and yeah, gathering. I remember very clearly, I went for a funeral and the woman had died because of uh, um, uh, weight related. She was really huge. Mm. So she had a heart attack and she passed. And then some of the aunties and all those people, they had come for the funeral. And we were all on one table. Yeah. And some of them were big. And the way they were eating, so I was asking myself, so did they really know why oh, they this person passed? They will blame the devil. <laughs> 
Christians do that so often. Yeah. We blame all our sicknesses, all, 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 all of it on the devil, and not even one. I mean, I remember so well when my mom was alive. Would go to, would go to programs and yeah, they would call her. Was cooking, they would call people. her. No, like no, and not even uh, 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 cook uh, like yeah, events. Okay. I'm talking about church programs, okay. like all night, all these events that you know go with our parents. And they will call her and they will say like, a tongue with Arabian mouth, somebody from your father's like your, you know, mm, those kind of yeah. things. They say it a lot these days. It's or not these days. In fact, it's been a while. It's very, <laughs> it's very very it's, very wrong. It's more rampant now. You know, and nothing about what are you eating. Nothing about have you say cast... check your health? No, 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 how no, do no. the prophet tell you? No, 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 no. Check it's your someone, health. it's always someone. You know, and we so... don't want to accept the responsibility. And it started from the Garden of Eden, you know, the blame game. Yeah, yeah. she she, she told me, he told the snake me. Did it. <laughs> if someone it's not us, you know, so we need to take responsibility and 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 you know, watch yeah. the things that you know, and then a lot of uh, uh eating out, eating out, mm. eating out too is a very a yeah, yeah, fast food. You know, joint we're talking about it has sprung up all over the place, Everywhere. and people think that it's prestigious to go and eat. You know, the latest exactly, exactly. You know, the pizza, the fries, fries, fries. You are on the path to mm. to destruction. You know, you're on the path, and you have to you know stop it. Don't eat too much outside, because if you eat outside, you don't know the things people have put inside. Put inside even where it's being cooked, the I'm telling you that the, you know, and it's unfortunate that these things are not checked in our country. You know, anybody at all can cook and start selling yes, food yes. without any certificate or nothing. nothing. And yeah. meanwhile, the person selling may not be healthy. Mm. And if as a country we believe that, uh, we know that what we are eating mm. is mm. paramount mm. to our health, mm. these things have to be... I remember Check. those days we had health officers yeah. going around. Yeah, and exactly. How we exactly, are yeah. But now it's... Anybody at all, and ah, it's wrong. Even if they come to check, the people will pay them off. <laughs> exactly, you <laughs> know. It's terrible. You know, uh-huh. And is. sometimes you go to the market too, and I see that the women have packed rotten tomatoes. Yeah. And I'm asking them, I'm asking them, why are they not throwing them away? See somebody come and buy yeah. the chumbers. Yeah, they use it. They blend Please. it and then... Limit eating outside. And then also <sighs> limit oils and fats. Mm. Sometimes people purposely ask for fats. It's also another yeah, unhealthy if, habit. If the fat is not on, on top, it, then that means you know, it's not. There's a scripture in Leviticus 3.16. We don't have the Bible here, so please you can check at home. It says that all the fats belongs to God. <laughs> and I know that. <laughs> yeah. I have been, you know, I remember I was on uh, Metro TV some time ago with Joe Metal, and we were discussing it, and I mentioned that quote. I said, oh my brother, this one is out of context. <laughs> <laughs> you are quoting out of context. <laughs> I said, my brother, it's in it's, context. It's in context. Because you see... Is, it's not good for us. So God knew it long time ago. Now scientists are telling us that fat is not good, but God knew it. So He said, "Let us not consume it." You know, early the prophet, the, yeah, the, priest, the priest. You yeah. know, the Bible says he was very big because he yeah. was eating the, the was fat. Eating. And then when he heard the news of the Ark of the Covenant, he fell off. And because of his, his weight, weight his, his neck, neck goes. his destiny cut off because of his weight. You know, so oh my God. these are all unhealthy habits that we really before really... Be, before we move yes. on. Mm. I just want the the last. Um, unhealthy one mm. lying down immediately after eating. And you're saying that we should not lie down. We should um, wait li- at least three to four hours. Three to four hours. Yes. Hey. <laughs> because you see, your body is not going to return. The mm. only time your body actually goes into a natural state of detox is when you are sleeping. Mm. That's where there is nothing happening. So your body is really at 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 rest. Mm. If you eat, especially a, a food heavy on carb. You are going to destroy, uh, disturb that process. And then also, your body is not going to use that energy that much. So it's going to get stored as fats eventually. So in the evenings, I always recommend that you don't even have something you know that is carbohydrate-based. Well, how about snacks? What kinds of snacks? Are they like even the processed? Food. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. How and many not can all, you eat? Not all fruits are also are even ideal for evenings. Oh, yeah. So which, which fruits? I mean, like uh, pineapples, I guess, are high in sugars. Uh, uh, mangoes are high in sugars. Go for the low, uh, like popo, apple, the apple pear, all the berries. Mm. They, are, they are very, very orange, healthy. Orange, okay. orange oh, it's still high in sugar. Uh, a bit high. So I rather recommend it during the day for your mm. snack than mm. when what you are going to bed. It's, uh, it's not so sweet. So That's, not even know if it's too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's also not bad, you know. Okay. Bananas like this, no, 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 for evenings. Because banana has a very, yeah. it's, it's high, it's very, very energetic. Yeah. You, you are not going to use a lot of energy. Was going to bed, you know. Uh-huh. Wow, wow, this is 
an eye opener. You have to get this book. Mm. I mean, you have to get it mm. so that you don't die before your time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. So the next step is choosing healthy foods. Uh, sorry, changing, preparing our mind for change. How do you prepare your mind? That for is, I think, the the it's like the meat yeah, in, the, in, the, in the middle of the, the sandwich. Most difficult. If you don't do that, this whole uh, healthy lifestyle mm, will not so work. Sad. You know, because our mind is so so important. If you don't change. Your, your your mind, how you think about food, how you think deeply. And I always say that when you want to commit to a healthy lifestyle, don't just announce it. Don't just Tell be saying it. Hey, to I'm, the, I'm on that. It's diet true. Too. We, keep, and, we keep doing that. We keep, we keep and we don't go on diet. Because you know what we have not done? We have not internalized it. We have not allowed that thought mm. to be deep-rooted within our hearts and within our minds. Yeah. You know, and it takes a while to really, really make that decision. Those decisions not to eat, you know, for me now, I don't eat a lot of things and it didn't happen overnight. I really kind took, of, yeah. you know, made up my mind and then gradually maybe reduced the portions a bit mm. until I kind of went off. So like three, four years now, I've never had soda drinks or, you know, things like this. Uh -huh. So it takes a while, but make the decision and let the decision be firm. Mm. Don't look at the left, don't look at the right, don't look at comments. Because a lot of times you get distracted. Yeah. Oh, we get distracted a lot, a lot. And when you are, because the moment you decide to eat healthy, beware. That's why you have friends saying, it was why too, no, Papa. Mm, ah, I was so when when Papa. I was young, I, I liked to read a lot of um, okay. health stuff okay. and watch. So I became health conscious. conscious. Wow. Yeah. So I I was avoiding fat, fat oil. Okay. Was like, I and my friends used to tease me. They exactly. used to call me, hey, Madam Healthy. Exactly. You know, those, no, those exactly. kind of things. But, I'm, I'm but now I'm, I'm, you know, exactly. my friends are, you know, yeah, and I am. <laughs> They're calling names. Yeah, that's the thing you have that's to, the have to go on diet. Or eight. Exactly, I have to go on diet. You know, uh -huh. diet you know, uh -huh. So really, 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 mm. this part is very, very important. Take time to sit with yourself. You know, like Joyce May always says, have a meeting with yourself. So, you know, yeah. really, really, you know, decide and and tell yourself that this is what I want to do. Yeah. You know, of course, if you're a couple, maybe you want to talk to your partner yeah. so that you you get the support yeah. that you need. You know, and all of that. But just in the beginning, make up your mind first because. Mm. Your, your mind is, is really where everything takes place. If you can take control of your mind and be disciplined in your mind, yeah. then, you know, the, the rest becomes easier, becomes easier, you know. And then having strong whys. Mm. The reason why many people are not able to commit to this healthy lifestyle, or especially when it comes to weight loss, is their why is not strong. So as in why am I doing yes. this? Why am I why, doing why? this? Why? Yes, okay. yes, yes. If you, don't, if you don't have a strong why, you will not be able to, because... There will be your, your decision will stand the test of time. Like there'll be a lot of uh, temptations, mm. you know. But if your why is not strong, if 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 you don't have strong reasons why you are mm. doing what, what you are doing, doing then, then you 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 you, you would give in mm. when when the time comes. You know, after all, mm. who has even sent me? Let me just. It's only one time, and yeah. then it becomes two times, and yeah. then. You know, so have strong wise. Really, really work on your mind mm. before you make that 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 transition. But but looking at this, can you write a book? This this is my own note. Yeah. <laughs> For pregnant women and what they should eat. I think so too. I think it's something because you know sometimes we think because women are pregnant mm. and they have to mm. just gain weight and eat. Exactly. Well. They eat. They, exactly. Even whatever, our mothers, they give yeah, them because, a lot of things yeah. to eat. Yes, it's true. I think that is something that I'm looking at doing. Mm. Even doing a specialized program. For pregnant mm -hmm. women or breastfeeding mothers mm -hmm. because i've had a lot yeah, of requests yeah, yeah. because you know they are different you know mm -hmm. they are feeding a baby yeah, and themselves serious. and sometimes they may they may eat too much than mm -hmm. they need and it they will think, even affect they exactly. can even die while giving birth and because of too much yeah, weight you know yeah, so yeah. i think that it's something it's a task you've given mm -hmm. me and hopefully yeah. the next time i come on your show maybe to be on that <laughs> book <laughs> something just for yeah for pregnant, pregnant yeah 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 eating yeah. right for a healthy mm -hmm. pregnancy or or something like that, along those lines, wow, yeah, would wow, be a good wow, read. Wow, yeah. wow. Well, in case you just tuned in, the book we show right here on Precious TV. We are looking at changing what you eat and changing how you look mm. with Akute de Gros. He was a plus, plus, plus size, mm. but now he's about 65 oh. kilograms, mm. 66. Oh. From, you said you were 130. My biggest. Oh. Yeah, I was. I mean, I remember my friends used to call me Brestina. Breastina. Yes. Seriously. Because I had breasts like yours, like. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see. Hey, now for four. Now for four. You know, and oh, you know, those oh, things. Oh. It's fun. It's, it's it's you can laugh about them, but they really really mm, affect yeah. you. You know, your image, your image, yeah. and your self esteem, and your confidence, and 
you know, it, it can be suicidal even sometimes, you know. So I, I, it's it's quite unbelievable yeah. seeing that you used you, to exactly, be. yeah. It's still, nobody believes yeah. it. Everybody's like, no, 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 you know, you know, no, no, no. I don't see yeah. that you were big, you know. So now there's one of the projects that I'm doing is called the Let's Move campaign. Mm. So I'm going to a lot of like primary schools, you know, yeah. talking to kids, you know, and especially about bullying because usually people who are big they, they tend they to be tend bullied to so i talk to you know a lot of students to stop that and mm. to encourage mm. the kids to eat well and then sometimes i do work out with them and okay. yeah okay. yeah wow. Wow. sometimes wow. i don't get the chance because the headmasters will tell me that they already have their program lined up and all but mm. i'm doing my best to get to more schools yeah. you know but not with parents yeah parents and some of them to... too will tell you that go and tell their parents so mm. we would rather invite you for maybe a PTA meeting and come and talk um, to your parents because yeah. they make the, the they decisions. Make the decisions. Yes. But in the end, you know, kids also force, like, they also say, I want this, I want this, I want this. They see the advert on TV exactly, and yes. it's, it's, it looks like it's good. It's the best thing yeah. to have. So they so would also, buy me uh -huh. if you don't buy, they would throw tantrums. So that's why they also need that education. Mm. I mean, of course, their are kids, so they may not be able to understand well. Yeah. And parents have a key role in really disciplining yeah. their yeah. kids. Yeah. And I remember listening to uh, someone, a speaker, and he was saying that when they were growing up, soda and all those things were out of their home, no sweet, mm. nothing. And as kids, they thought he thought that their parents were torturing them. Now that they've grown they love their parents so much so for, much. you know, for imbibing in them mm. a healthy, you know, lifestyle, you know. Because mm. that's something that I believe parents should give or pass on to their kids, you know. If we train them early, they would, they would grow up with it, you know. Uh -huh. you know? Wow. wow, that's 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 amazing. Mm. This this book is an eye-opener that you have to get. And, um, how much does it go for? Where only, can we get it? Only 20 cities. Only 20 yes. Ghana. Instead CDs. of buying that pizza, it buy this it, book. It, 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 pizza is 50 cities. <laughs> <laughs> which you will finish in like 20 minutes 20 impose well, 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 pa, 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 and it's well, gone well, but this is life you know mm. this is a book that you would you would have for the rest of your life you can always refer to it mm. you know you can give it to your kids to read yeah your kids will understand it because it's very very simple and then as you you practice which is the last chapter we'll talk about mm. you know really practice some of the things i've written the kids will also you know pick it up mm. you know so it's really really you can find it in uh, a lot of bookshops, challenge bookshop. Okay. Uh, you go to Accra Mall Pharmacy, the oh, top of pharmacy shops, okay. you know, or if you call us, yeah, zero five four eight six nine two three five five. Yeah, I we think can. It's too fast. It's, too fast. Okay. it's the food slowly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's zero five four eight six nine two three five five. If you call us, we can deliver it to you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just twenty cities, and then you know, begin your healthy journey, you know, because it begins with knowledge. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, it begins with if knowledge, having the right knowledge. Yeah. You don't know it. And like I was telling you earlier on before the show started, I think that a lot of us genuinely don't know. Don't know. I mean, I grew up around food. Mm. It's, you know, it's what you are used to. Yes. You know, yes. that you, you yes. pick up yes. as a yeah. child. So they always say that the first five years of a child is very, very important. Very important. You know, I, I, I've become very passionate about like children and mm, that. It's, it's because it's a very powerful yeah, time. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So exactly. You have to start, start with them and then. And then they grow up yeah. with it, you know. And so I grew up around, you know, my mom would always bake something around 2 a.m. We can smell the bread. Mm. Then my sister and I would go and the bake it. Mm. And then we put in the madrina and nane. Mm. Now it's, you know, <laughs> chale, and yeah, compare cook we or malt. Then we put in the milk. Hey. Chale. So I mean, that's how we're really eating. Just, that you know. was too much. And I have even when I at some point I I was working at Coca Cola, I worked there for like three years or so, and even that still I was also very big. I had food in my office. I was always drinking Coke. I literally didn't know that mm. you know it's not so healthy. You know, drinking wow. a lot of soft drinks. So I think that genuinely. You know, people don't know. So I'm very happy that we are doing this program to really educate, educate the populace, you know, there. around these things. It's very, very important. Mm. We have to eat well, mm. you know, for mm. a healthy lifestyle, for a healthy temple, you know, and to be able to fulfill the destiny that God yeah. has for us. Because, yeah. you know, there's potential in you. There's greatness. There's mm. destiny on your yeah, life. You can't cut it short. You can't cut it short taking... by, 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 by eating anything mm. wrongly and, 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 mm. and not taking care of yourself. Wow. Amazing how time flies. Yes. But we've looked at change what you eat change how you look mm. and we looked at seven steps to a new look we didn't finish all because you have to get the book to That's buy right. it goes for 20 cds yes. but before we go mm. you're just in maybe some 10 seconds your final words to the Thank viewers you. wow I, I i what i want to tell you is that i want to tell you that change is possible you know uh from my own story and what i've been through i know that if you believe in whatever it is that you set your mind to achieve you can do it yeah. do not allow friends or the environment around you to trap you 
but believe especially if you want to lose weight which i know a lot of people want to do but they give up along the journey i have another book it's called seven simple steps to losing weight in that book i really share also the step that i went through and how to prepare your mind get that book as well and begin that transformation journey and most importantly involve god mm. because without him you cannot achieve much your willpower will not be enough mm. i literally when i was on my weightless journey memorized a lot of scriptures in fact i dare say and the holy spirit is my witness i memorized the book of proverbs the mm. whole book it has about 936 verses mm -hmm. and i could quote to you the wow. book of proverbs and i remember doing that i was getting a lot of strength yeah, i'm telling you the things i could do i was amazed and even now wow. the things i can do even friends like hey is that you huh? <laughs> but i don't know that there's something else working on the inside of yeah. me the holy spirit yeah. so really involve him mm. let him take control of your life and i'm telling you you can achieve this in, in no time like just like that wow 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 we thank you thank you thank you for um, me. but we've had a wonderful time we change what you eat change how you look with akoto de gross um unfortunately if you just tune in we are done it's the book review show right here on precious tv with me caroline Owusu asama for more details about the book and about the show you can call zero two three one one five one six one five shout outs to my crew shout outs to my team and everyone who's made this show a success. Tune in same time next week. Remember, the repeat is on tomorrow, 2 to 3 p.m. Ta-da! Bye from me. Mm -hmm.